Atlantic Copper is a company based in the port of Huelva, southwest Spain, that produces 300,000 tons of high-grade refined copper per year from all mined in various parts of the world. Its shareholder is the North American natural resource company, Freeport McMoran. The WISPA project has been partially funded by the European Institute of Innovation, EIT Raw Materials, an institution that supports R&D projects and promotes competitiveness and innovation in the raw materials sector in Europe. To learn more about WISPA, let's focus on one of the products currently sold by Atlantic Copper, iron silicate, whose production is carried out by a fast cooling granulation process with water. Obtaining around 600,000 metric tons per year that are sold to the market and used as abrasive for sandblasting or in the cement sector. The objective of the WISPA project is to validate an innovative iron silicate production system using air granulation technology that would replace the current process, achieving a series of advantages such as First, significant reduction in water consumption. Second, recovery and use of energy contained in molten slag. Third, validation of new uses of iron silicate with greater added value. In this way, WISPA contributes to the European strategy for the optimal use of raw materials and circular economy enhancing the sustainability of the copper concentrate smelting and refining process. The WISPA project is led by Atlantic Copper and is partnered by the National Institute of Construction and Civil Engineering of Slovenia, ZAG, the Belgian company Resourceful, the Catholic University of Leuven, the Technical University of Aachen, and the University of Bordeaux, as well as the Canadian company Hatch as the technologists. As part of the project's dissemination, European master students have visited the Atlantic Copper facilities and the Whisper pilot plant. In the semi-industrial scale pilot plant, set up in 2020, the slag from the flash furnace is granulated. The molten slag pouring is done manually, thanks to a tilting ladle, with which the operator controls the slag flow that is granulated with the air flow and is deposited inside the granulation chamber. The collected samples are sent to the partners in order to experimentally validate new uses of air granulated silicate, such as the manufacture of inorganic polymers that could replace cement or use it as an aggregate for the manufacture of concrete and bituminous mixtures. The pilot scale tests have shown that iron silicate granulation technology with air is feasible with a product very similar to today's iron silicate. It opens up the possibility of its implementation on an industrial scale with the following potential benefits. Water savings in the smelter of around 35%. The energy recovered is by far higher than the energy consumed during the air granulation process itself. New potential uses for iron silicate in the construction centre with a higher added value. Our pledge at Atlantic Copper, today and in the future, is a clear commitment to the development of sustainable operations. We look ahead to the future with enthusiasm, with respect and with a clear conviction to back innovation. This is the Whisper Project by Atlantic Copper, a project that combines three concepts innovation, efficiency and a firm commitment to sustainability.